to flip from offense to defense and basically posing the same question uh, to expand on what uh, Gabe Hoyer's uh, talking about here. Uh, Kevin explained very well last week why Ohio State is formidable against the run, always has been. That's always been a number one uh, priority for the defense to force the throw and obviously have had the personnel to just naturally do it well. Uh, I don't can't remember. I'd have to think back game by game the last time somebody was effective running the football against Ohio State. But Minnesota, if, if I'm not mistaken, brings back the entire offensive line. Mohamed Ibrahim, if you have seen him run, he is for real. And that's going to be a formidable challenge uh, with linebackers trying to figure out where they need to be. Yeah, you have, uh, the last time anybody went for 200-plus on Ohio State was the season opener against Nebraska. And while you know, while I seem to remember it being like a lot of that rushing being in garbage time, I went back and looked. It kind of happened throughout. It was kind of a slow drip through the whole game. Mohamed Ibrahim rushed for a buck 50-something against Ohio State in 2018. So, I mean, this guy has had some success against Ohio State. Then again, we bring up 2018, which is a year that nobody wants to talk about Ohio State's defense. It was just not Ohio State like at that point. Uh, you know, Ohio State. It's gonna it's gonna take a full effort there. But I think that if if Minnesota does not have Chris Ottman Bell at wide receiver, or he's greatly degraded, and Ohio State can just pin its ears back and just load up against the run, I don't care if they're returning. 28 starters on offense it's going to it's going to be some tough sledding at that point uh you know they they you know if they have somebody like Rashad Bateman in the past who can sit there and force Ohio State to respect the passing game that's going to be a lot different than if Minnesota is really thin at receiver and again we'll probably have to ask our guest here in in 15 minutes what the latest is on Ottman Bell but you know if, if Ottman Bell is not able to go I think it's going to be a bad situation that Ohio State's going to be able to really just load up and and do everything it can to take away the run. 